Hey guys, today we're gonna have a weird episode and it's all about the keyboard shortcuts I use on a daily basis. So if you're semi-serious about um, turning this into some kind of profession or like professional hobby I guess, um, programming and making games in general, we have to learn how to use the keyboard in order to be efficient and fast. So um, in my videos I do code quite fast and some people have a hard time just uh, keeping up. And this will help you actually keep up. So this is going to be like the keybinds I use on a daily basis, of course, to be efficient. And there's probably more out there, but I'll just show you the one I use the most. So as you can tell over here on the screen, I'll have this displaying. So it's pretty much just an application that tells you what I'm clicking on right now, what inputs I use. Um, it works with the mouse and also works with the keyboard. Control, Shift and Alt are all up here. And let's actually get started. So here's my little setup. Basically, I have uh, just a scene that I can move around with using a joystick. And uh, what I want to do in my script today is I just want to save the position of the player when I press on stop and load it back up when I press on back, which are keys on my joystick. I've made a little script right here that um, will go together while we're actually learning keybinds. So let's get started. Alright, so let's start with the most obvious one, of course, the arrow keys, up, down, left, right. Now you know about this, I don't need to talk about it. But if we mix those, those arrow keys on keyboard with shift, you are, you are actually going to start selecting stuff from where you first start holding shift. So as you can tell, I'm selecting using my arrow keys right now and holding shift. If I stop holding shift and I just use my arrow keys, it's going to drop the selection. Now... If I use control while doing this, this one is actually quite cool. If I use control while moving through my text with the arrow keys, this is what we get. So we jump over a whole word. And that is going to be really, really useful, guys. So if you don't know this one, just pick it up right now. It's a really good habit to have. Now, if you want to copy this whole thing, say over here, you can, of course, take your mouse and just do what I did. Or you could go up here, use your control and your shift keys at the same time and you're actually going to jump over the whole word while selecting it this way and now this is what you get so it allows you to select a lot of text super fast so control and shift while using the arrow keys since we are in the arrow keys let's do the last one um, last one is basically if you want to swap a line say I want to swap all of these lines I want to have the back button uh, condition above the start button I can make a selection like this and go like alt up and here's what happens so basically I'm able to move the whole thing now you can also use this for a single line without, without having an actual selection like this and there we go we just swap those and this is done using alt and the arrow keys let's move on to the um, control keys so control keys, there's all of those. Um, I'm just going to teach you the really basic one, I guess. Let's say we type in something. So player prefs dot set string, and we just leave it like that. So assuming that we don't really want this, we can undo what we've did by pressing control Z. Of course, you know about this one. But there's also control Y which is to redo what we've done in the past. So I'm holding control and I'm clicking Y multiple times and I can re re um, reconstruct what I've done or what I've removed using the control Z. Now the next one is a really simple one. It is the control S, which is going to allow you to save as simple as that. So you're saving your script and you can then use it in the game. Now, if you have multiple scripts that are not saved, you can save them all by hitting Control, Shift, and then S. And this is going to save every script you've got, say, up here, that have modifications. So, so say you're doing a modification over here on the floor trigger zone. You want this to be 30. You don't save the script, but you head over to this one. You can actually save the floor trigger zone by hitting Control, Shift, S. And now this is saved over here. All right, next one. Next one is going to be the copy, of course. So if you want to copy something, you just select it, Control C, you paste it with Control V. And you can paste multiple time. 
Now the next one is really useful, it's about finding something in your script. So say you have this really really big script that you've made a long time ago and now uh, you remember writing something about occluded distance or something like that. What you can do to find your piece of code, the actual place where you um, type that, is you can hit Control F and then search for keyword. And then by hitting enter or return you can actually scroll through all the occurrence of that in your code and there it is, that's what I was looking for. Good times. So I found it using the control F and it gave me this little box here for me to search. Now let's go back in the player save boss and talk about the mouse. Um, double click on a word is actually going to select the whole thing. And that is really really useful when you're trying to copy and paste stuff. So say you're trying to change... Um, let me just check out something every single of these words for distance for some reason. What you could do is take your main word, hit Control C to copy, and then you double click on this, Control V, Control V, Control V, and you just paste this everywhere. Oops. And that can get really useful, save a lot of time, and it's just good time in generals. Alright, next one is the shift. So, um, you probably know that it works the same way uh, in the Windows Explorer. If you want to have a whole selection like this, what you can do is just, of course, click an Alt to drag this whole thing, or choose the start point, click here, put your um, typewriter here, and then by holding Shift and clicking at the end, it's actually going to select the whole thing. And you can do that, go back up, it's just good times in general. The next one would be the alt click, and this is one I've been requested quite a lot. How do I write on multiple line, and how do I copy on multiple line? You actually do this by holding alt and moving your mouse around, so dragging your mouse around with the alt. As you can tell, I can have a square selection, which is quite weird. So assuming that all of these, um, I've made a mistake and all of these are not supposed to be float, they're supposed to be like doubles or int, what I can do is by holding alt, make a square selection around all of them and type in int. So not only I select everything in the square but I also multi-line edit. So I can go like this, choose all these three lines and start declaring three similar um, floats. So public float x swag is equal to 5.4. And there we go, we just created three floats at the same time. Next one is we are going to talk about tab and indentation in general. So you know how sometimes you just press enter here and it indents your code automatically so maybe it puts it here. Then uh, sometimes that's not really what you want so you got to be moving it either left or right. And you can do this using the tab key. So by selecting these three lines then I press on tab I can actually indent it towards the right. So it's going to actually add a tab to it. Now if I hold the shift tab, it's going to remove one. And this can get really useful. So the shift tab is actually more useful than the tab sometimes. And here we go. That is for the indentation. Now um, something really really cool as well that uh, it offers you in Model Develop and Visual Studio is the ability to complete your code for yourself basically. So say I'm here, I'm gonna like declare a string I'm going to say this is going to be the... Actually, I'm going to declare a vector3. This is going to be the position of the player. Then I'm going to declare a string. That's my save string. And I'm like, okay, so I got to be getting this from player pref. Uh, what is it already? Get, get, get string? I don't remember quite well. And now you're around here and you pretty much lost this thing here. So you pretty much just lost this window. How do you actually get it back while you're writing something? Because sometimes... I remember when I started out, what I would do when I would lose this window is I'd go back and then I'd press on the key again, I'd press on the dot key and this would pop up. But there's actually a way to get it back when you're halfway through your word. It's by hitting control and then spacebar. This is actually going to bring up the window where you can choose and once you have your selection, you can then press on tab, which is going to autocomplete your word. So very good times here. 
And here's another key mind that is really useful when you have to deal with uh, variables or field at the top of your script, like global stuff to your class. Um, say I have this private transform up here that I've called this player transform. And I've used it at quite a lot of places, so say over here, there, it's also down there, and it's here as well. Now at one point I want my script to be like supporting two different transform at a time and this player transform is not really, doesn't really reflect what I have in mind. So if I come back to my script in like a month, I'm probably going to get confused with the name of this. So I pretty much want to rename this field. However, I don't want to go through the whole, like if I have a thousand line script, I don't want to be like replacing it everywhere. There is a keybind up here that you can do while having this selected to actually rename all of your different fields in, not different fields, but to rename all of those um, reference to this field everywhere in your script. You go up here, you press on F2, and this uh, pretty much happens. You have this kind of square, it brings up all the reference to it, so as you can tell on line 10, 17, and 30, and then you can type in there. So just say, um, Unity Chan transform. There we go. And it actually rename the whole, well, all of those occurrence are now renamed. You hit Control S, you have a good time, you press F2 again, and uh, yeah. So that pretty much works perfectly fine. Now what else could I be showing you? Oh, of course, how to comment a line with using, using only keybinds. You can actually comment out a line, so say I want to comment out this, you select all of those three lines and then you hit Control, Shift and C, which is going to comment everything. Now if you want to do a uncomment, you it's pretty much just the same keybind, so Control, Alt and C. And here you have it, so let's have a look in the game what kind of result we get out of this which doesn't make any sense with the video, but I still wanted to do it for some reason. And it seems to work. I'm going to press on start here, go over there, get healed a little bit, then back, and good times. Alright guys, so I hope this helped you just a little bit. I know this was a weird video, a really short video too, but um, there are some keybinds out there that I really recommend you to use, such as well, not really use, but practice at least. So the whole using control and using shift while you're navigating through your words are going to be quite useful in the future if you want to get semi-serious about this because um, you got to go fast to prototype. Super fast. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy. If you like, please leave me a like. If you have any comment or question or suggestion, please leave them in the comment section below and also subscribe for more tutorials like these. Alright guys, so uh, thanks for watching again and I will see you soon in the next one.